We're making one of these beautiful knives from the Ron Hock 8 inch kitchen knife kit. The first step is to find the wood that we're going to use for the handle and cut it down to size. Let's get started making this kitchen knife. Obviously we need to open it up and check it out. Included inside is the knife of course, three pins, and the easy to follow instructions. Now, first things first guys, this blade is extremely sharp and we're gonna be working with this knife, obviously adding the handle. So the first thing I wanna do, and instruction number one tells me to tape off this blade. So I'm not going to hurt myself. One of the cool things about working on a knife handle is you get to pick a piece of wood that's gonna really show off the knife. And it's fun to go through your scraps and find exactly what kind of wood you wanna use. Now you wanna definitely take into account wood movement. Uh, and so quarter sawn wood, straight grain wood, tight grained wood, those are gonna be the go-to ones uh, for your knife handle. It's a pretty small chunk of wood we're gonna be using, but of course you definitely wanna take into that uh, wood movement into consideration. I've decided to make my first knife handle out of this Paduke, which has a nice reddish color and I think it'll uh, look pretty stunning. The instructions say we need a piece that is about one and a quarter, so this is one and a half, um, by a quarter inch thick, so I got plenty of thickness here, and about five inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut down uh, this chunk into the two pieces we need to start making the handle. Okay, I've cut the scales down to the correct size, the length and the width and the thickness. And I'll mark the outside so I can keep everything aligned uh, just the way that I want it. Uh, the next step is to sand the inside faces to remove the mill marks from the bandsaw. But I want to keep it rough, maybe about 120 paper, so the epoxy still has plenty of surface to grip. I've now got the outside marked on my pieces. Uh, so the knife will go together like this, with that piece there, and that piece there, and that'll be the handle. The next step is to put these pieces in order like that with the tang on top and tape the whole stack together so we can drill through the handle pieces to align everything. Now I'm going to align my handle uh, with the grain here. So the grain's running just a little bit downhill. So I'm just going to tape this just a little bit downhill uh, and align that with the grain. I've got a quarter inch bit chucked into my drill press and we'll use that to go right through using the tang to align and drill straight through both the scales. After each hole is drilled all the way through, I'm going to go ahead and put in a little dowel to help keep that aligned. These are quarter inch dowels. So chuck that in just to keep everything fairly aligned and we'll go ahead and do the next one. Before I take the tape off to trace the outline of the tang to the scales, I noticed that my dowels for alignment are pretty loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and just wrap it in a little piece of tape. And this will help to tighten that fit up. I use this trick all the time around the shop. If you just need things slightly tighter, uh, just one or two layers of tape uh, is a perfect way of sneaking up right on that. That's a nice snug fit. Do the same with the other two. Okay, got the three pins in there. So I'll go ahead and take the tape off and we'll trace the outline of the tang and then I will cut pretty close to that line uh, and I think we'll be ready for gluing the whole thing together. Let's go ahead and see how we did. Take these apart and put them into place using the pins. Ah, looks like a knife. I left the scales a little long and wide, which is good so we can sand them flush with the tang after gluing it together. So now, before we glue this together, we have one final step, which is to sand and shape this front edge. Once we're all done and everything's glued together, we can shape under here and all the back and the top, but we can no longer sand and shape this front corner. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that now uh, before we glue this together. Let's put the two halves back together using the pins to keep everything aligned. And I'm going to shape uh, this front uh, using some 
sandpaper, uh, maybe a belt sander. You can use rasps, sander, you know, whatever you have to shape and smooth uh, this front edge. So that 400 grit really ends up polishing the front of this and that's looking pretty nice. With all the shaping and sanding now complete, we are ready to glue and assemble the scales onto the knife.